गोविंद गोपाल गोपिका वल्लभ गोवर्धनोदारका गोविंद गोपाल गोपिका वल्लभ गोवर्धनोदारका आ गोविंद गोपाल गोपिका वल्लभ गोवर्धनो धारका आ गोवर्धनो धारका इन शशिलोचना इंदु
really committed himself. The message of Shreya's uh, life and uh, as a father, uh, I observed him very closely through these uh, six years. He started the uh, motorsport at the age of seven and uh, you know, till 13, uh, he achieved uh, feats that uh, people who waste their entire life were not able to achieve in this short period. And uh, the main reason he was able to do was because he didn't do this because uh, tomorrow he will earn so much money and he will buy a Ferrari, he will have a Porsche, he will have a you know, uh, 10 bedroom house uh, around in many countries in the world. All of that would have come to him, the pay, the money, but those were the five products. The most important message from sales is like this, we have to have a higher goal in our lives. Whether you, if you become a doctor, if you want to become a doctor, don't become a doctor because you want to drive a Mercedes or if you, you want to become a big hospital. You, you become a doctor because you want to help people. You want to help heal people. All of them will come automatically when you are passionate and successful. Material things in life will come. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So, uh, the message that uh, Shreyas has given us and which we all need to take is whether you become a teacher in a school, whether you become a doctor, whether you become a pharmacist, whether you become an engineer, whether you become even a mechanic. Uh, Shreyas loved motorcycles, he loved to fix motorcycles. So, he always said that he, there is anything I would do, diploma and automobile engineering, if he had to do a higher study. But the point is, don't run after the material things. Set higher goals for yourself. The rest of it will automatically follow. Yes. Uh, Shreyas at the age of 13 achieved much more than any 20 year old could achieve and through his life, a uh, short life I would say, he's given us an example. So let us cross well from that example and let us implement uh, the message that he's uh, given us. That is uh, one of the things that I wanted to say, uh, to share with all of you. I heard one of the child saying, we are here to pray, to contribute to students, right? How do you think that you could pay to do it? So, uh, it's an interesting story, it's a good question and an interesting story. So, uh, Shri has always had an interest for anything with wheels. Even if we went to the supermarket, uh, the trolley that has wheels, no? Uh, only a man has to control the trolley. Nobody else can hold the, the trolley in the family. And uh, while we are picking the vegetables and the fruits, he will be racing the trolley to the supermarket. And he will never, you know, dash that trolley. Because I should tell him, if anything falls, he has to pay for it. So he will say, Daddy, you see how I will maneuver this trolley without uh, damaging anything. So uh, that was shares. Anything that means, uh, he just enjoyed riding. So uh, we were, we, uh, I had an interest in motorcycles and uh, I used to watch MotoGP. So at the age of uh, six, uh, Shreya started watching MotoGP. So for one and a half year, about 20 races we watched. And after every race, there is a podium ceremony. And uh, uh, the one who comes first in the race, there the country's national anthem is played. So always it's the Spanish national anthem, the Italian national anthem, sometimes we hear the American, the South Africans also national anthem was played. And uh, one day he turned around and asked me why Indian national anthem never plays. So I was a little taken aback. I didn't expect that question from him. So I told him that uh, no Indian has qualified. So he just uh, turned back looked at the screen, he turned back at me and he said, Daddy, I will change that. So the journey began from there and that's why Shreya says uh, 
how much heart and soul you bring into that is what matters. Just each one of us have a passion. Each one of you are having a dream and you are the future of the nation. Just follow your dreams, give it a purpose and remember one thing, the purpose should not be limited to one person or one small materialistic world what we look upon. It should be beyond to serve humanity. You might ask how water raising might be serving humanity. It is not nothing in that life or nothing in our as is purposeless. Each one of us has its purpose. Being passionate gets you into discipline. It helps you being empathetic to your co workers. Stray us at a team with him, a mechanic, a guide, a marshal, a track marshal, an organizer, a sponsor, a support, building that relation with all his peers and people is also a contribution to humanity. And you are in such a wonderful school where you are blessed with people who also serve a role in love who give you the opportunity and they have always supported shares as well. I don't know how many of you are aware. If it was not to the school support, to your teacher's support, the city sir's man's only man's support, shares wouldn't have been achieved this much. And not many schools realize that, not many of us get a platform or exposure to that. Please make best use of it. Follow your dream and we as Indians, we being a human on this earth, we should take a mark, we should have a purpose in life. So one more thing I wanted to share, share as an example, uh, is uh, one is having the passion, the other is the willingness to work achieve that passion. So, I will explain to you, uh, so we are there in Bangalore for, in a few days, for a few days and then we are traveling because he either has practice or races. When we are in Bangalore, uh, the day starts at 4.30 a.m. for shares. By 5.15 we are out of the house. By 6 o'clock, uh, the gym that shares goes to is in Tomlu. So we have to drive 45 minutes uh, to reach Tomuru and uh, uh, he would be the first one inside the gym because he has to finish the gym by 7.15, 7.20 so that he can reach school by 8.10. Uh, and uh, then uh, yeah, I would drop him then go back home. Uh, by then his breakfast would be ready, I would come back and I think the, is the reception staff here? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I think they would uh, have seen me dropping off the Shreya's description box every day. Uh, at 4 he is back from uh, school and then uh, we would go for either cycling or swimming. Shreya's would do 50 kilometers of cycling every day. Uh, we start at uh, SP Mall on the airport flyover and he will cycle non-stop at an uh, average speed of 25 km per hour and he have a heart rate monitor fixed to his uh, chest and I am monitoring his heart rate in the car behind him and uh, the heart rate has a, should, there is a certain bandwidth, the heart rate should not go beyond that bandwidth so he has to learn to breathe in a particular way because of the motorcycle uh, in the last half, when there is a lot of stress, you have to finish the race, your, body, your heart rate will go all over the place. So you have to learn to control your heart. And cycling is, and swimming are the two exercises with which you can learn. So either we are cycling or we are swimming. Okay? So the, uh, the, even when we go on the track, uh, he will go out and he will come back only after he finishes 40 to 45 laps. He will ride continuously for 45 times. Uh, even if he is thirsty, he will still continue riding. Then only he will come in and then he will have his body. Uh, he will be great completely. But that's how you train because uh, starting the race 
you know, you may meet the need in the middle of the race, you may meet the need, but the most important part are the last lap and the lap before that. That's when all your energies are down uh, and your body is struggling because the chef was doing things ahead of his age. He was competing with people much older than him. So he had to prepare, he knew very well that he had to, if they were working X, he has to work 10X. And he would never complain. I have never heard from Shreyas in 6 years saying, Daddy, you are pushing me too much. He knew that he has to do this and the results were coming because he could do that. So just having an ambition, having the passion is not enough. Setting the goal is not enough. Very important thing is to work towards that goal. And one of the uh, very important things that uh, both me and Shreyas did was we bought the autobiographies of the four best riders of MotoGP in the world. And I read it first and I made Shreyas read those autobiographies first. So from their childhood till the time they reached the World Championship, how they work, what the family did, everything understood. So whatever field you choose, Please understand that we become a student of that field first. Understand to become the best in that field, what you need to do. If you, if you want to become a basketball player, Stephen Curry possibly would be a great example. I know there are uh, many examples, but that's the Stephen Curry's life is what you need to understand. You need to understand from his childhood to his uh, peak of his career, what he did. You, you want to become a very good doctor, who is the best doctor in the world? Who is the most successful doctor? Find out the name. Today there is Google. Uh, everything is on your phone. Uh, so you will have to uh, set your goal and uh, you will have to analyze and you will have to work towards it. I think that's the example that she has said. And one last thing I would like to say here, hard work, there is no shortcut for it. Dedication, we need to have. We will achieve when we look beyond worldly things, right? And now I want to ask you, how will you pay tribute to your fellow friend? How will you pay tribute to your fellow friend? Follow your dreams passionately. Mommy, no. We will begin with a to him with a smile on our face. Not a single person, including me and Harish as well. We are not going to shed tears for it, but we are going to take it further, his brain further. Whichever field you are, achieve that, make our passion pride. You are the same. Marika Shreyas. Okay. He did not come back. He is already within all of us. By our spirit's help. He hasn't gone anywhere. He is amongst us. And we will do it. And that is what Shreyas would love to see from each one of us. Including me and his father. Shall we do it? Yes. yes. Loudly. Yes. Thank you. Good morning to all of you. I I am amazed, uh, Harish and Sanjay. I really am amazed. The inner strength that you people have in work has shown me. I don't think I have that. Quite honestly, I don't. So you want me to smile? I'm trying my best, man. When I stand here in front of you all today, uh, I'm trying to heal myself. I started this school hoping that there would be parents like Harish and Sandhya and teachers who are really gurus 
and that wicked had a dream in your heart. That's why he started the school. And so yesterday in the evening, I sat down and I told this to Harish and Sandhya. I sat down and said, why God? I lost my mother at eight months ago. But I said, why a 13 year old little child? Why? And I had no answer. Because this 13 year old, your friend, my child, was building a road, a road that had never been constructed before. It is one of like, you know, one of the highways. It was constructing a highway for you all. Whoever was interested in, in something, and what is that something? So he was constructing that road at 13 years old. And that road for him was when the national anthem is played at the end of the journey, when he wins a race and goes to the podium, and his, his country is honored. That was the road that he was charting. He had taught the road up to a certain point. He had gone out of the country and he had started wearing the tricolor and he had put the Kenshi logo on his motorcycle. And his father and mother used to send me these. Father is. He had constructed this road. Teachers. And so I was saying, God, why did this happen? Why could he, why did you not allow him to finish this road? And wear that crown. And you know, I don't know if you know, the crown of, when they first started Olympics, the crown was made with thorns. It was not any kirita. It was not a crown. Crown was just of the thorns. But why? And I don't have an answer. But today, when Shreya's parents are here, Oh, I can't say enough about Harish and Sandhya, but about the little friend that we had, my child. My child. I must tell you this. Not once. I've spoken to Harish a lot of times and I would say, turn on the speaker. I want Harish to, I want Shreyas to hear me. Not once, not once. Did he complain? Not once did, was he selfish. Not once was he jealous. Not once was he harsh with anybody. This was who he was. And I congratulate the mother for that. For the value system that she gave to this little child. Yes, God gave him, sent him like this. But the mother nurtured it and made it a character. So when I even picture Shreyas in my mind, I look at that smile, the innocent face, the innocence, and he never felt, he, there was no subtract in his step. He never felt, he, he never walked as if he was a star. He was a star. He was a star. But he never walked that talk. He was a humble Indian. And this, I must tell you, Sandhya. And Manisha, I want you to come here, man. Please, Manisha. Please, Manisha. You know who Manisha is? This is older sister. This is his older sister. Come here, Manisha. I might, I might be watching a lot, but you know what? There was a few things that I must share with you. And you kids, you are so lucky, so lucky, so lucky, I can't even tell you that you are not Shreya's parents coming and talking to you. What they talked should be going around the world, especially to all the parents and children of India, not just to Kinshriites. But Manisha, is the speaker working? No. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. I want to tell you about two things. This is a sibling. This is an older sister. And you know what his mother said? This is almost like a mother to him. She used to, he used to come back and I'm sure, I'm sure, Manisha would go and sit with him and he would confide in her with a lot. Because there would be a lot. And I was very tough to my children too. And so my children came and, 
and Shreyas came and confided in her and she had that. And you know what was the last thing she did? She put a note and tucked it in his in the in the cloth that was wrapped around Shreyas. And she requested that that note or that letter that she had written to Shreyas would not be taken out when he was you know when the last rites were done. So I don't know if it's right, but I want to sincerely thank Manisha for being such a great sister, which I could I didn't know Manisha until a couple of days ago. Correct. So you know the reason I say if you have a lot of siblings. And can you imagine that these people have the courage to come and speak to you two, three days after Shreyas is gone. And I mean, mother is right. Shreyas is not gone. Shreyas will never go to the school. And I've requested Annie to put a plaque of Shreyas in, in the school. Shreyas will never be forgotten. And that's something that we need to carry the spirit is all around us. Thank you, Manisha. There's a flood that happens. But this is something that I is invaluable. Shreyas had a dream. And I want you to know that the last thing that his father did when Shreyas' body was getting carried away was he draped it draped the flag of India on it. Do you know kids, who gets the honor of getting their bodies draped with a flag of India? Soldiers. Exactly. Why? It's because they work for this country. They, sac they were prepared to sacrifice for this country. And Shreyas, the little 13 year old, don't forget, 13 year old, had the flag of India draped on him. And it was a, a, a good testimonial to his, what he is trying to achieve. So when you do this, and this is what I tell the teachers here, Shreyas is a, a, a student and a teacher. You all have goals, but if you have goals, and this is what Harish sir said, Uncle said, it's not about getting a new motorcycle, getting a Ferrari, doing this or that, and, you know, showing off with your low coach t-shirts and whatever, it is not. You will get passion only when you want to do something for somebody else. Giving back more than you get is what gives you passion. So when people say you don't have any passion, passion comes from learning this. So his father put a passion in his heart, saying that, hey, you know what, you could do this too. And what a marvelous father. And so when I spoke to him when he, when he went to Spain, when he was training with the Spanish coach, there was all these Spanish people and all, all over the world coming and training in Spain. Because some of the best coaches were in Australia, some were in Spain, and we were talking about how we journey him till 17 and get the best out of them so that he becomes the world number one. Why not world number one? What is that one achieve? He just gets the prestige of India who we are. So when he was doing this, I don't know somebody of you because they are biology teachers, and we had spoken, Harish and I had spoken. When he sits on a motorcycle, he's like a jockey. And who, when you see jockeys, they are small people, very tiny, because they don't want to be a heavy burden on the horse. They are tiny. And Shrey, you look at Shreya's father, he looks like a basketball player. So I was worried about that, saying if, if this boy goes that tall, and if you learn, if the senior kids, if you learn, and this is what we are trying to get across, his, his center of gravity is very high, so he feels old. And the second thing in biology is he's going to have a bow legs because he's constantly sitting on motorcycle. Harish and I spoke about it. And so every time he's, he puts his feet down on the ground, his ankles are become very tight because he's got to take that load of the motorcycle. So we said, send him to Kalaimani man. Let him, let him get his ankle strong. Because when he is riding, his ankle has to be strong because he's balancing. And then Harish uncle sent me a video of him racing and I saw this elbow jutting out when he was riding the motorcycle. And I was saying, hey, you know, he's not able to carry the weight of that motorcycle. So 
there was a discussion between Harish uncle and I and said, should we get him the heavier bicycle, the adult bicycle, motor bicycles, bikes. And we said, hey, let's wait for a little while. Let him race. We brought, he was brought back to India only because to show other riders who were riding with him, competitors make my best friends. So he competed in Spain. Unfortunately, he didn't have a race in Spain, but he came and competed here. This is the journey of this young 13 year old. And for you teachers, one of the things that I requested was, how do you make a friend in Spain? Was a social science lesson that he could teach. Physics lesson. This is my height, this is my weight. How do I ride the bike without tilting over? Biology lesson. What should I eat to be a better motorcycle rider? Thank you. And these and math calculate what is your height and whatever this is. So the whole journey of physics in sports, social studies in sports, of that sport of physics, of, of motorcycle. So this was the journey and this is what the school is all about. I just don't want to go further on this, but I just want to tell you all kids. Let's take Shreyas as an example. I remember, and please understand this, this is the sixth child I've lost in this school. It's very painful. Extremely painful. There was one child, I must tell you this, one child who wanted to do so well in team play. Just one hour before the team play, he died. He practiced and practiced and practiced. Then there was another child. I don't, I know. There was another child who died because the doctor gave him the wrong medicine. And I visited his room because yesterday I visited his home, Shreya's home. But this child, where the doctor had given him wrong medicine, I went to his home. I went to his room. He had every poster of Kenshri all around the wall. It was a shrine of Kenshri. This is how he looked at his school. I'm not asking you to do this. Do it out, out of your heart. And I was shocked because this child had come from pre-nursery to sixth standard. And he had every single poster on his wall and his mother said, this is it. And yesterday I went to Shreya's home and what do I see? I see the trophies, but no, his clean uniform, his, his the autobiographies of the sports people. And I told Shreya, and we, we tell you all, you have a biography, you have autobiographies. Yes, he was reading autobiographies at fifth and sixth standard years to know what is the life of a sports star. And that's what Harish uncle was telling you. He was waking up, he just didn't have a dream and sleep till eight o'clock. He could have done that. But he woke up at 4.30, trained hard. It's, it's about make, how do you get that goal? So let's, when, when the word tribute, the word tribute is used. What is tribute? Thank you. And Shreyas, I know you're watching me. I know you're with me. I thank you, child. I thank you, Beta, for a marvelous journey that I had with you. And I'm going to journey with you till my last breath. I will journey with you. And thank you, Harish, Sandhya, Manisha, grandparents, uncles and aunts. I thank you deeply for making this time to come to us. It's very difficult, sir. I'm not as tough as you are. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I'm going to smile for Shreyas. Jai Hind Shreyas. Jai Hind. Where is Aditi, ma'am? Where is Aditi? Is Aditi here? She's not okay. She's got an exam. Putraju, sir, Kandra department, I must tell you this. I was deeply touched. I was deeply touched by the way Aditi spoke about my child, Shreyas in Canada. The Padaklu use model, Padaklu. Yententa Padaklu Pyoksar Putraju, Adikemi Guruji, Nimo, 
ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಥಾನದಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಪುಟ್ಟರಾಜು ಆ ಅದಿತಿ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ದು ನೀವು ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ನೀವು ಕೇಳಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕ ಅದಿತಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಿ ನನ್ನ ಕೃತಜ್ಞತೆ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ರು ಶಿ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಸ್ಪೋಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಶ್ರೇಯಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಎ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಟು ಎ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಐ ಲುಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಸೆವೆನ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಲುಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಡೀಪ್ಲಿ ಟಚ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟೆಲಿವಿಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಶೋನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಸೋ ಪ್ರೌಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದಿತಿ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ so good morning thank you and thank you kannada department for supporting this it helped me go to this all language so um i'm sorry if i bored you teachers and children but i wanted to be with you with, because of this courageous family that is with me and uh, so let's make shreyas live forever in our hearts all right thank you so much bye
It will always be the shining star of the history. We also have his parents in the world of seen and these two lives. He will reveal in our hearts forever. Thank you. I call your chest friends for this. And now, sir, can you have a look at one of them? Just one small incident I want to share. So, when we brought snakes as uh, body bags from Chennai, uh, we were uh, too tired, and uh, so, and Sandhya and me, uh, we just took a nap. And uh, outside our house, uh, there's some construction work going on, so there's a lot of uh, stone and cement and sand and all that. So my co-brother took our place, my sister is our co-brother, stayed with Shreya's uh, town. Uh, and uh, at uh, 11 o'clock, there's this person who, who walked and till 3.30 in the morning, he kept picking stones and throwing. So from that heap of pebbles, he would take and throw, he would take and throw. He did that for four and a half hours. And uh, he did so much that the pebbles started to come inside the compound. So when the pebbles started to come inside the compound, my co brother went and asked him, uh, Why are you doing this? The whole road is uh, getting dirty. He's a Nepali uh, guy, simple. And uh, oh, he said, I'm sorry. And he started to, you know, with his feet, push the pebbles back. Uh, then my co brother got a little more intrigued and asked him, uh, why you are you throwing these pebbles? So he says, uh, from the last five years, uh, Shreyas has been his biggest friend, and this is the game they used to play. He'll throw one stone, and Shreyas will try to match that stone. That was a human um, this is a drawing of shares. It is done by Kauri. Uh, Maintain silence, everybody.